Libra, welcome. Libra, this is going to be a general read for you. Uh, don't know what's going to come out of the cards. Don't know whether this is going to be a love read, a career read, um, some other read. That said, we're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to look at your current energy, your desires, the outcome what's working for you and what you need to be aware of that said libra right off the top hmm, there's some type of a love offer coming in or going out we have your current desires which seems to be uh the ten of swords so maybe you're just wishing something would hurry up and end or something new would begin and then we have the three of wands and the three of wands to me uh, you're able to see what you want, but you may not be able to see how you need to get there. What's working for you is the world. And what you need to be aware of is the Knight of Wands. So, it looks like a lot of things are working in your favor with the world card here. Uh, and that this is going to be... Um, you're going to achieve what kind of what you want. Uh, there may be something that you're actually going to wind up moving or traveling. That said, Libra, let's actually start going through and clarifying the cards. So what is this Knight of Cups here? <clears throat> so this Knight of Cups, uh, although there could be an offer coming in, a love offer, this may be one where you were not expecting it. But this could also be an offer that's coming in that is going to really have you starting to work, uh, putting plans in place so that you're moving into that energy of... Um, figuring out what your worth is and figuring out what you're capable of so this relationship offer or love offer that's coming in could be really changing things up for you and really pointing you into that direction of hey you know what you've got a lot to offer and this is how it's happening let's clarify the ten of swords so the ten of swords is clarified by the nine of swords the death card and the Six of Wands. So, although you're sort of finishing a cycle or beginning a new one, there's a lot of anxiety around it because you've had to go through a lot of change. People have noticed that change. Um, we see we have this knight on this horse, a uh, golden knight on the horse, and there's nobody else around him. So it seems like uh, you might have had to go through this alone, uh, and leave the crowd behind. That said, let's clarify the Three of Wands in the outcome, and that's clarified by the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. So, as you see what you want in life, you can see you're getting sort of a clear picture of where you could be headed. You can see that there's good news coming in, that good news uh, can be coming in a little slowly uh, for you or a little slower than you would like and you're just going to have to push through that and continue on doing what you're doing. What's working for you is the world and the world card we have the page of cups, the queen of swords and the ten of wands. To get to the world there's this offer um, or great news that's coming in that you're having to use your head around uh, but you're feeling a little tired you're a little tired of working for this and you're kinda like wondering should I really be doing this there's a lot of emotion around there and you're needing to use your head but rest assured um, what you want is coming uh, hang in there we've got the nine of wands saying, hey, you know what, just continue on a little bit more. You are almost there. Now, let's clarify the Knight of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands. Um, sorry, 
Libra, this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, uh, is your energy. So you can see that, yeah, it doesn't really change it uh, at all. You're still really needing to, uh, even though you're tired, uh, to continue to push through uh, to get where you need to be going. This, what you need to be aware of, is this Knight of Wands. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is your putting yourself out there. You're working. You're putting that effort out. There's communication coming in uh, about what's going on. And we can see that you're really trying to get to a new place in life. Uh, we also have the King of Wands here. Now, this King of Wands, to me, is maybe uh, you're looking at some type of business, uh, but I see it as more once this communication comes through, you're going to be able to take action in the direction that you want. That said, let's pull three more cards for you for advice. Two of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So, there's a possible partnership, and this possible partnership, um, it could be with uh, an older person or more, um, more middle-aged person, but we have this Five of Swords, uh, and it seems as this partnership and as you're going forward with everything there seems to be some type of um, something that's just not right underneath that's got you kind of feeling like mm, I don't know if I like this it's got you sort of like mm, do I really want to do this that said um, let's I want to clarify what this Queen of Cups is King of Swords Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So, King of Swords. Uh, clearly, you're going to have to th rethink how you're you're looking at uh, whatever's going on and how things are shaping up for you financially. Um, and there's there's the possibility of a little bit of disappointment there. That said, Libra, that is what I have for you today. Best of luck with this week, and we will talk to you next time.